felt by families across our nation. I would like to introduce Hattie Morin, who has experienced firsthand the effects of illegal immigration crime. Hi, thank you for inviting me to come here and speak. Um, imagine, it's such a beautiful day outside. Imagine you get a phone call and it's like this. Hello, Mrs. Morin. I hate to tell you this. This is Detective so-and-so. But we found your daughter's body. I had just learned a couple hours before that phone call that she had been missing from the day before. Um, they told us later that my daughter was on her daily walk. She was the all-American mom. She had five children. She owned a small business. And at the end of her work day, she would walk this very public trail that was in the middle of our town. We've walked it for years, over 25 years. An illegal immigrant that had crossed over three times and was sent back and then the fourth time was a gotaway from El Salvador, waited in the woods, grabbed my daughter, snatched her off the trail, dragged her through the woods. He raped her, he strangled her, he stuffed her into a drain pipe. We can't allow this to happen. This is Kamala Harris has been responsible for the border for the last four years. She's done absolutely nothing I live 1,800 miles away from the border. I'm 1,000 miles away from this town. Illegal immigration is hitting every city in our nation. And not everyone that comes over the border are safe people. If we continue the way that we're going and Kamala Harris becomes our president for the next four years, it's going to get worse, not better. She's done nothing for the last four years, nothing. And it's caused so much devastation to families. We need to vote for Mr. Trump. And I've been trying very hard not to make this a political statement because I don't want my daughter to be associated with one party or another. But Mr. Trump's the only one that's listened to our family and really cares. And this is not a political issue. This is an American issue. This is our families, our mothers, our children. And I don't know about you, but I don't think that I want to sacrifice another mother or another child for the sake of politics. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Congressman Van Orden. Orden? 